Hello and welcome back to the podcast that I do from time to time apparently. I thought my last episode was a couple days ago. And I just looked and it was a week ago today. So I guess I'm now a weekly podcast. <laughs> Accidentally. Uh... Yeah, um, time doesn't seem to exist anymore. It doesn't flow like it used to. So, yeah. <clears throat> there is... It's not so much Groundhog Day, but Groundhog Year? Well, no, because that would mean that we repeat 2020 over and over again, and I don't think anybody wants that. So... Yeah, this has been Groundhog Day all year, because uh, every day is pretty much identical to the one before it. Therefore, every day bleeds together, like blends together. I think bleeds. <laughs> every day blends together. You can't tell that it's been a week. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, we just saw each other yesterday. It's like, uh, no, uh, we last saw each other back in June. Like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what it's like right now. So, yeah, pretty soon it's going to be like, okay, let's see. I did my last episode three days ago. It's been a month. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I hope it doesn't get to that point. But yeah, I, I've been thinking about doing this episode for a while, but I've been putting it off because I, I wanted to, but didn't want to at the same time. I It's actually going to be a two-part episode, kind of. Uh, it's not like part one and part two. It's, I have two, uh, two, basically two lists I want to go down. Not even lists. I don't even have a list written. I, this is, I should have planned ahead. I should have made a list. Um, especially for this, but I didn't, <laughs> um, yeah, cause, yeah, it's basically, well, if you saw the, I'm not hesitate, I'm not like stalling for anticipation, but you saw the title, you know what it is, it's my favorite podcasters, um, <laughs> I should have made a list, because I don't remember everyone all at once. So, like, at near the end of the episode, I'm like, okay, I've talked about everyone, and then, uh, but getting ready to end the episode, oh, wait, I forgot this major one I listen to every single day. So, like, that's why I should make a list. It's like going to the grocery store for sugar, and you're at the checkout line with a cart full of groceries, and as you get home, you're like, ah, crap, I forgot the sugar. So, <laughs> that's going to be me, except, you know, it's more serious because it's actual people and you left out your favorite podcaster i'm gonna start with my favorite podcaster uh okay so this is uh i actually oh wait i did make a list i i didn't i didn't make it thinking oh i'm making a list for this episode i got bored one day and made up on twitter you can make lists <laughs> I got bored one day and just started adding my favorite podcasters <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, 25 members. There's not 21 pod, there's not 25 podcasts on here. There's 25 podcasts and podcasters because, like, there'll be the podcast Twitter and then the hosts each have podcast and have Twitter accounts. So, for one podcast, could have three members in this list. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to scroll down and go to my favorite, the one that I, the one I, I, t I um, every time somebody asks me, even in part, even in, meh, even in person or on other, like on Twitter. Oh, this is, <laughs> I'm scrolling. I'm like, why isn't, why can't I find her? Then I remember it's, you've got to click on members. It doesn't... When you, you go to the list, it shows you the posts by the people in the list. I've never made a list before, so I'm still kind of new to this. And I've been on Twitter since 2007. 
So, wait, no, no, that's Facebook. I've been on Twitter since like 10 years ago. I don't know. I'm just now doing this. So let's see. Scroll down and there she is. I basically talked about her a lot in my first, well, not even episode. It was my introduction. It was the Reverie True Crime. She is like, she's the best. Like, literally, like, she, <laughs> I've listened to podcasts for a couple years now, and I never really thought about doing one. I, like, obviously, like, I think I said in my introduction, like, why would, why would I make a podcast? Like, what would I talk about? And then, like, listening, like, to her podcast, she was, she was, uh, did an ad for the hosting site that she used at the beginning and i'm like wait it's that easy hmm what if i made a podcast that'd be funny but then, like as i kept listening i kept thinking like that little seed was planted by her podcast and it's like as uh, the next couple weeks went by i was like hmm what if i actually did this like what would i talk about but then i realized <laughs> everything <laughs> So she not only inspired me to do a podcast, she was practically, she's basically my podcast mentor. I think I even told her that. Uh, and, and like, I've been telling other people that because it was like, I, I basically, I messaged her like, Hey, I have this idea. And I don't know what to do or where to start or how to do it. And then she was like, Oh, don't use the one I started on. Use this site. And, and then she was, yeah, she's like my first steps. I basically, Everything she suggested, I did everything she suggested, and not everything, like, it, some things work, some things didn't for me, because, like, everything, everyone's different, so, like, I basic, her suggestions were starting points, basically, and I kind of tweaked them as I went along, and, yeah, so that's how I started podcasting, is because of her, and, and, with this last week or so, she started posting about, uh, I think it's called, uh, I don't remember, I'll just go to her page. Uh, oh, wait, I am on her page. Oh, T Public, because she has that as her link now. I'm on her page. Basically, it is basically merchandise. You put your logo on shirts and cups and, I was going to say pens, but I don't think I see pens on there. Um, masks, uh, tapestries, blankets, hoodies. Stuff like that, and I, <laughs> I saw hers, and I was I was looking through all the lists of everything she has available, and I'm like, oh, that would be cool. So I made one. <laughs> I wasn't actually planning on making one. I just like to order from to order from her s store. I basically had to make an account. You don't have to, but I like making an account on those so you can save all your info and everything. And I made an account and it said upload design. And I was like, eh, what the heck? I'll just upload one and play around with it to see what it is. And then I did. And I <laughs> finally, when I finally got that all posted, and I was like, hmm, what if I, what if I actually do this? So I posted the link to that. And so <laughs> there's two things in a row that she directly inspired so yeah not only that she also has like an overly awesome podcast she the um it's true crime obviously it's in the name reverie true crime podcast she i i went into detail about her podcast on of introduction and yeah she, uh very thorough very detailed i like how serious she takes it uh, like a lot of other podcasts i'm not saying there's anything wrong with this i'm actually going to some of those podcasts that they're actually on this list they actually they it's a true crime comedy podcast there's a bunch of those which i guess i guess there's nothing wrong with that i mean that's it works and those are great shows but at the same time like she uh uh she This is what <laughs> I should have a script, but I can't. I can't stay on a script. But then I don't have a script, and I Porky Pig or just go 
like I have like three or four different things that I want to say at once and then they just kind of run into each other and I'm like ah so she will like she takes it seriously and she gives a lot of detail sometimes too much detail but it really like the more details she puts like the more like she goes very graphic it's not for the faint of heart some of these episodes and there's actually been two episodes I've skipped the very first episode that she did uh, which was about, uh, I said it in the introduction, it's, uh, he was a serial rapist, I think he killed people, and she, she read the transcript of his really lengthy tape, he would leave, it's basically like Jigsaw, when they, like, he would play this tape for his victims, and it was very graphic, and I, that was the very first episode, and it's, it's, <laughs> It's amazing. I continued listening after that because, like, I, I was like, "Nope, this is too much," and I I skipped it halfway. And I guess, like, logically, I should have just stopped there. Like, nope, nope, she's too much. I'm not doing this. But I skipped to the next episode. And yeah, <laughs> and yeah, like I've caught. Like, I think in the introduction, I was only halfway through getting caught up, and now I'm completely caught up. And I, you know, I. I listened to each new episode, and the the second episode I skipped is actually her most recent one. And actually, let me see. Uh, let me scroll down. I don't remember. Oh, she tweets a lot. I'm just, I just scrolled down <laughs> several times, and it's three hours ago. So, uh, let's see. I can't see. Oh, wait. Hang on. <laughs> I have her link tree at the top of the page. I'll just... Wait, no. Oh, she got... Oh, the link tree's gone. That's Patreon. Oh, I also subscribe to her Patreon thing. So I actually listen to episodes, like, I think a week early. You must be 18 plus to view this content. Yes, I am 18 or older. <sighs> oh. Okay, I clicked it and nothing's happening. What's going on? It's not loading... It says it is, but it's not doing anything. Okay, I am going to just go back to her thing and... Wait, I'll check Facebook because that's on there. Uh, rare, oh, there it is. <laughs> Loading the Facebook page. Watch this load faster than the Patreon page. Oh, and, uh, yep, sure enough, it's... Well, okay, it didn't fully load, but the outline of the page is loaded, and... Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, she even says in the description here, as it says, This story will not be for everyone. It is very hard to write and record. And, yeah, it's James Bulger... Basically, a toddler that was murdered, and <laughs> I didn't get very far into that episode. I'm like, yeah, that's a nope. So that's out of all her episodes. That's wait, actually, what what number is that? That was episode sixty-eight. Wow, there's a lot. I didn't realize it was that many, but yeah, out of sixty-eight, there was two that I had to skip. So she does. It's great that she goes to the sets graphic detail because it really shows and emphasizes the seriousness of the event but <laughs> sometimes like I, she puts a warning it's not for everyone so but yeah that oh now the page loads <laughs> after i don't need it all right back to the list um now i basically have two episodes where i gush over her but I'm going to have the whole episode. Okay, this isn't in any particular order. After this point, they're not in any particular order. I just wanted to to cover her first because she's my favorite podcast. Because, like like I said, like inspiration of this and everything. And she's just all around inspiring, I guess. And, alright, let's see. I was... Oh, wait. Okay, I know who I want to cover next. Uh... Riddle me that true crime podcast. She, uh, 
she has a PhD in transpersonal counseling, and yeah, like, she also, oh, there goes the thought colliding again, uh, I like uh, uh, her show, she, something, I don't know if she, <laughs> I can't remember if she just started doing this or if she's always done it, because, again, there's a lot of, part of the reason I didn't want to do this episode is, the, like, well, first off, there's a lot of shows I listen to, and I might get, I might get some of them mixed up, and also, like, I kind these, all these people, like, we all, like, this, like, the podcast community, like, it's small enough that we actually all talk on Twitter. Like, I've actually interacted with most of these people and actually uh, riddled me that. I She actually shouted me out the other day. She said she was listening to the the conspiracy episode. And I was like, I was shocked. I'm like, you, you listen to my show? I listen to yours. <laughs> Oh, the thing that she's, uh, the thing she started recently, or, or have always done, is do multiple parts with guest speakers, and, uh, I don't want to exit the recording app, because I don't know if it'll stop, so, oh wait, I have Spotify on my computer, ha, huh, I'll just look her up, I, I listen on S S Stitcher, so I don't know if she would be on the Hey, Riddle, Riddle. That is not what I was... Wait, okay, let's see. Bam, ba -dam, podcast. Riddle me that. There it is. Okay, loading. Still loading. Oh, I don't... Oh, there it is. Okay, so she's done 59 episodes and... Spotify won't show the whole name. It says the mysterious death of, and yeah, but these are actually I will just okay. Let's see. I'll see if it's still recording. Uh oh, it is. Still, it's recording in the background. Cool. I can do this. Right. Nice. I didn't know that. <laughs> I haven't played around with the app long enough. Oh wait. I also have a favorite playlist on Sp <laughs> on Stitcher. Yeah, there's a favorites playlist. And what I do is, I follow, like, people, I'll follow, like, everybody that, there we go, doing it again. I speak, uh, the thing, line, multiple, porky pig, meh. Okay, so, people are always saying, like, hey, check out my podcast, and every single time someone does that, I look them up, I follow them. And I look them up on Stitcher, and I'll follow them. And Stitcher gives you... Uh, you can have, like, different lists. And I have a favorites list, which is where I put my favorites podcast, obviously. But then I, there's the following, and I put the ones... I put them all in following, and then if I listen to them enough, and I get hooked, and I keep listening, I change them from following to favorites. And <laughs> the, the, fav the following, I can... I can Right, this is annoying. My recording stopped. And I kept talking for another half hour before I noticed. And I'm really annoyed. <laughs> it's the second time this has happened to me. Uh, first time was during the Zodiac episode. Where I, like, I read the entire Wikipedia article before I realized that it stopped recording at like the second paragraph. <laughs> So, yeah, I've, I'd already moved on to, like, a few podcasts further, so, yeah, this is, this is frustrating. I, I don't know why it keeps doing this. This isn't, this isn't even the same app as before, and it w wasn't because the, sc the screen shut off, because I was using my phone at the time. Uh, I wish I was able to record onto my computer, but it won't let me. It came, this microphone came with a cable to do that, but when I plug it into the computer, my computer doesn't even recognize it, like, at all, so, yeah, that would make it so much easier, but I have to do everything on my phone.
So yeah, I don't remember. I, I, you know, I was. I remember the. I kind of skipped to the end, like where I was, and I was talking about. Um, riddle me that. I think. I think that's the last episode. I think that's the last podcast I was talking about in the recording that actually recorded. At one point, no, not that. At one point during the recording, I was like two or three shows further, and I realized I was referring to the people as the podcast name. And I was like, wait, wait, oh, I forgot to use their actual names. So, referee is Paige, and riddle me that is Jules. And I, the next one I talked about was You Should Have Ghosted. So, I'm going to start there. <laughs> uh, well, really quickly, I think it cut off on, because uh, I wanted to talk about one thing in particular about Riddle Me That is uh, she does multiple parts on a case. And she has like experts in either the case or something relating to the case, like criminologists or or something and and it really makes the it really makes it that much better because it's not just one episode where she's reading the wikipedia article or something she actually knows what she's talking about and has people that definitely know what they're talking about and does multiple episodes about a case which is really awesome because by the by the time she's done you basically know everything about the case there is to know <laughs> and I really like that approach. Uh, but anyway, uh, you should have ghosted. It's a true crime. Wait, it's a true crime comedy podcast about the dark side of online dating, hosted by Shayna and Liz. And that's what the description is on here. And I really like this one. Remember, like earlier, I was talking about there are true crime comedy podcasts and this is one of them and i really like it and uh, it's ba- it's kind of like catfish almost it's ba- it kind it's basically like the true crime version of po- of catfish although i'm pretty sure like half the stuff the catfish does in catfish is illegal but they get away with it because mtv or i don't know but anyway so it's basically like i keep saying basically so people like they're dating people online and they don't know who they really are <clears throat> again because catfish and then they get murdered sometimes and that's what this this basically covers that aspect of online dating the the ones where you end up dead or kidnapped or something There are like technicalities. They they were they. <laughs> it's not always online dating. Like there was an episode I listened to recently where the uh, it was it wasn't online. It was a, like the want ads back in the eighties, and the one that was reading the story was like it counts, it counts. <laughs> so yeah, like it's the same idea. It was online dating before internet was even a thing. Basically, that's so it, it counts. <laughs> um, I really like the host on this. They're they're really funny, and you can tell like like they like they, they work well together. Especially like Liz, she's adorable. She she giggles and laughs a lot, which <laughs> really adds to the enjoyability of the show. Um, <laughs> she's got that infectious laughter you just can't help loving. So <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Just going down there saying, uh, what's the most recent episode? It was two days ago. Episode 12. They've only done 12 episodes? Wow, it feels like longer than that. Like, because I only recently found this podcast. And I was like, I binged it all in like two days. And I don't know, it felt... I thought there was more than that. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being weird, but uh, they cover the murder of Vicky Edge in the new one, and the trial and the trail of lies that led to her tragic death. I <laughs> trial of lies. Uh, 
I was like, that's not how trials are supposed to work. <laughs> Alright, so... The next... I don't know how I'm... I'm not going to remember all of these, like which order I've done. Because I'm not doing these in any order. I probably should, though. Um, oh, one thing that I talked about before it cut off is... You know how I said there were 25 members on the list? And I said not all of them are podcasts. Because sometimes I the, the, the podcast has a, a page and then the individual hosts have pages. So... I, when I looked on Stitcher, I think that's the I think that's where it cut off. Is when I was talking about I have you know, the following and the favorites, and I just separate them into whatever. <clears throat> I have eleven podcasts in my favorites folder on Stitcher, which means I'm not good at math, but I think that means there's fourteen accounts on here that are just member that are just like the hosts. But then that's not the case always. Be oh yeah, this is when I gave the names, right? I'm starting to come back to me where I said uh, before because this part wasn't recorded because my phone stopped recording because I had said oh that there's 14 accounts on here. There's 11 posts, uh, 11 meh, 11 accounts that are on this this list on Twitter that are podcasts and 14 that are not that are just the host but then i remembered that not all of them are show and host because page is like the reverie true crime twitter is the show and the host so it's not 11 and 14 it's whatever because i'm not good at mathing so moving on <laughs> Family Plot Podcast. That's another one I recently discovered. They're they're not very far. I think they... I don't know how many episodes they have. Uh, it's different because it's, it's a father-daughter podcast, which isn't necessarily unique in itself because I think I've heard another podcast that was like a family doing it. The difference is that she is 11, which... It's definitely different. They they cover, like, true crime. They cover history, uh, weird stories, and like they like they say in the show, it's PG eleven because she's eleven. They don't, which I think it's kind of it's kind of cool. It's like family friendly true crime. <laughs> that makes sense because he doesn't go into graphic detail because, again, she's eleven, and yeah, um. One, like a, a running, kind of like a running gag in the show is they have a ghost named Toast, which I think is hilarious. They named their ghost Toast, it, Toast the Ghost. Um, but yeah, like she does artwork, like she does this artwork for the show and everything, and I'm just scrolling through. Yeah, they. Uh, in the most, re I'm not completely caught up. I've, I've got, <laughs> I should just run through it real quick. I've got like three episodes until I'm caught up. And whoa, I'm looking right now. Five hours ago, episode 18 now available. Well, available now. Uh, so they've also, they're also not very far into it. So something I've noticed. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic or or whatnot, but there's a lot of shows, especially that I'm that I follow that just recently started, like this year. So, I don't know if it's because the podcast, everyone's inside and bored, and hey, let's do a podcast. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these podcasts I'm mentioning are new. Uh, some of them aren't so new, but I'll get to those. Uh, let's see, going on next. Liz. Oh, that's, uh, okay. Unsolved Mysteries Rewind. I. <laughs> This is funny. Um, the way I found this show is I wasn't looking for Unsolved Mysteries, the show. I did a search on Stitcher for Unsolved Mysteries, like the topic. And because stuff like that fascinates me. I love, I love like the, un, the unexplained and paranormal and 
true crime and stuff like that. And so I would just did I just did a generic search for unsolved mysteries. I wasn't even thinking of the show. I didn't think, oh well, oh, they're gonna have a podcast for that because I didn't know there was gonna be a podcast for that. I don't think it's wait. Uh, I don't think that it is necessarily. Like, I don't think it's an official podcast for Unsolved Mysteries. Basically, what they... It's called... Uh, oh, wait. I should probably say the name. Unsolved Mysteries Rewind. I don't know if I already said that. But basically... I don't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not directly affiliated because the logo isn't the show's logo. I mean, you can tell they... they for copyright reasons and trademark infringement and whatever, they couldn't use the exact, you know font and everything but they've got like the word unsolved in regular font and then mysteries with the lines like like notebook paper so it's like they tried to mimic it in a non-copyright infringing way so i don't think it's directly affiliated with unsolved mysteries basically what they do is they look back at the episodes and it's uh i'll just read that description we discuss unsolved mystery let me read this right. We discuss hashtag Unsolved Mysteries cases and provide updates to the cases. And then hashtag True Crime Missing Podcast, True Crime Podcast, Disappearance, Unsolved. So basically, they they, uh, they, uh, they they pick a random episode of Unsolved Mysteries, like the Robert Stack Show, and they, they, they discuss all the cases in the episode. So it's not just this case was this, was discussed in Unsolved Mystery, so we're going to talk about it. If the episode had four stories they covered, they the, the episode they pick has four episodes. They cover all four episodes, and they they do like updates to the cases, like oh here's details that weren't in the episode uh, that they they wouldn't put on TV, but here's some additional information. And they also they, it's also. I, it's also kind of like a review, like they review the episodes. Like sometimes they they criticize the uh, like and, like and the reenactment they you know, in in the true story they did this, but in the re reenactment they did that. So like it's like this is something I never really thought about with Unsolved Mysteries. I just <laughs> I don't know why I just assumed everything on there was true. Um, uh, I don't know why. Like obviously. Not every single thing on TV is true. I know that. But in my mind, I made an exception for Unsolved Mysteries. It's kind of like, I, th I saw it as, you no. Know, they talk about ghosts and UFOs and paranormal. But they also talk about true crime. And like, this person's wanted. If you've seen this person, call this number. So it's kind of like America's Most Wanted, in a way. I saw it as that. Like, if America's Most Wanted also dealt with the paranormal. <laughs> So I saw it in that perspective until I listened to this podcast and I realized that it, yeah, they, they covered true crime and they put the people's pictures out and called this number, but they also, they also had to get viewers in through entertainment. So when they did the reenactment, they sometimes exaggerated or changed it up to make it more interesting. And I never really thought about that until I listened to this podcast, and they uh, and they they criticize the show a lot, and and it's because I watched I watched it's on uh, Unsolved Mysteries. I haven't watched it in a while, but I think it's on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, I think it's on Hulu. It's in like two or three places, I think. Uh, I've as for the new Netflix series, I've only seen like three episodes. I want to watch them all, but I don't want to binge them all and not have anything left to watch with that. Of course, then I have the entirety of the original. I've seen the first season of the original Robert Stack and then half of the second episode, half of the second season. And because I don't want to rush through it and then, oh, I don't have anything to watch. Some shows I do binge all the way, but Unsolved Mysteries is one that, like, I want to still have that to watch. I mean, I could still just go back and rewatch them, but I, I want to keep them on watch so that I can watch them for the first time. Does that make any sense? Am I weird? I mean, I know I'm weird, but, like, for this specific reason. I don't know. Um, moving on. 
Voices for Justice. Ah, yes. Uh, this is a really good one, and they, uh, this one, she, uh, Sarah Turney is the host of this one, and, I uh, wait, my TV just turned, oh yeah, because my Xbox turned off, uh, hang on, I gotta turn my TV back on, I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'm like, you know what, I'll do an episode, or, that's, that's not how it went, but, yeah, I switched over to my computer input, and my Xbox turned off, which turned off my TV. And I could have said, not said anything, completely ignored it, and you wouldn't have known anything. But anyway, so Sarah Turney, I've actually known about her for a while before she even started this. She was on another podcast, which you know, I'm going to follow this up with that podcast. There's, um, I got distracted. I was looking at something. So her sister Alyssa Turney went missing. I believe it was in 2001. I <laughs> it's like oh I know this case front and back. She went missing. Yes, <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, she her the the father Michael Turney was very obviously the one who did it, and um. Yeah, she... Actually, oh wait, there's a hashtag. Justice for Alyssa. It'll tell me the exact date she went missing. Um, but It does not say. It'll say somewhere. If I, if I scroll long enough, it'll... It'll tell me when she went missing. Because I want to... want to do this one justice. Yeah. Wow, okay. So... I've been scrolling a while and I still don't see a date on here. She went missing a while ago. Uh, it was a long time ago, like beginning of the 20, 20, oh, it was 20, 2001. It, it doesn't give a date. Um, it just says, Alyssa Turney disappeared in 2001 when she was 17. Her younger sister, Sarah Turney, has been investigating the case on social media. That was New York Times. It'll probably... I click on the link, it'll probably give more detail. Probably, most definitely will give more detail. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, let's see. Control F. 2001. Three mentions of that. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. It doesn't say. The three instances, it just says Alyssa's disappearance in 2001. She disappeared in 2001. Okay, she disappeared in 2001, okay? <laughs> and the police, if if you listen to the whole podcast, you have to listen to it episode by episode. And she gives every detail. Like, there's entire episodes where she just lists, like, names of office officers or something. I listened to the whole podcast and there, I remember there was an episode where I was like, okay, this is, this is a little bit too much info, but it's, it's out there. So, I mean, it's good that she did it because now we have all of it. It's good she put every detail in there and where, like, she just lists names and dates just to, cause she was basically reading, sometimes she was basically just reading the files and she played like tape transcripts and stuff. It was, like I said, it was very obviously her father that did it. But the police were like, nah, we need more evidence. We don't have enough evidence. Uh, take it to social media. That's the only way we'll do anything. And so she did. She started a podcast. She went on TikTok. She started a TikTok. And she, uh, basically, like, before she started her own podcast, she went on a bunch of podcasts. That's how I found out about her. I found her on the podcast I'm going to mention next. And my watch is vibrating because, oh, it's 1 a.m. My job is closing right now. I have the alarm so that if my coworkers and I start talking and lose track of time, it vibrates. I'm like, oh, we should probably lock the doors. <laughs> but anyway, um, so she went on a bunch of podcasts and she was just telling her story. But I guess she 
I think she's like at the beginning of this podcast. She was telling this story about how she would you know, mix the rounds on all these podcasts, but she realized she couldn't tell her whole story on just one episode of one podcast or all the podcasts, and they're all spread out throughout these different shows. So she decided to make her own podcast, which is brilliant because now she has um, all the details on in one place, like. Everything you need to know about this case is on this show. And and it worked because... Let's see. Uh, what day was it? Oh, you think I would know this too. Because it was really exciting. And it was actually trending. Uh, oh, no. Uh, where is it? It's basically, it was, this is still just a few days ago. Oh, wait, no, I, no, it's, I don't know. I am confused. Okay, if I scroll far enough, I know I'll find it, because I think I saw it when I was scrolling down looking for the date. Uh... Anyways, I don't... I think I must have passed it. Anyway, basically, long story short, whatever day it was, it was like a month or two ago, her father was arrested. And it was great. And I think I see it now. I... No, that wasn't it. And so, like, all her hard work that she put into it is paid off because now he's on trial. And... Um, cause she, she even did like a final episode, like this is the last episode until something happens. And then she did an episode, uh, when they, when they caught him, she did an episode and she was emotional the whole episode, which I don't blame her. Um, I think everybody was, and uh, where she, like, she thanked everyone and she said that he was finally arrested and then, um... Like, a few weeks ago, she did another episode called Remembering Alyssa. And was, I, I really like this episode. I hope they do more of these. Because it was really, it was really nice. It was where she got, she got some of Alyssa's old friends. And they basically, for like, I think it was like two hours, they just, just talked about Alyssa. And it just, it was basically, it was like a group of friends just hanging out, reminiscing about old times. And it was actually, you can like, you can feel that, like, even though like they weren't, I don't think they were, like, all friends with each other, but they had that connection through Alyssa, and they were, like, they've they've known each other for their whole life, but I think, I don't remember if they, like, went their separate ways or whatever, but, like, she had to, like, track these people down, and it was old friends just hanging out, and it was actually really nice to listen to, so, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't think I would, I was like, okay, there's just gonna be people saying she was a nice person. But then I listened to it, and I'm like, wow, this is actually really nice. Like, actual, like, stories from their youth, and like, it was, it was different, and I liked it. So, but she said starting next year, she's, she's gonna use the podcast to tell other people's stories. Which I think is really, really cool. Cause, I guess, I guess what she's done so far will be season one. And then when she starts telling others, I don't know if it's going to be like episode by episode or if it's going to be like season two is the Delphi murders or something. I don't know. Whatever she does, I'm definitely going to be listening because, yeah, I'm definitely a fan. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. Down the rabbit hole. Have it? Wait. Have they not posted recently? Because I don't see any new tweets. What's the last... Huh. I don't think they've been posting. Let's see. I'm on their website. I'm down the rabbit hole. Because I was... Because I'm like, I don't think I've listened to that. Because I, I was... As I was said, down the rabbit hole, I'm thinking, I don't think I've heard them in a while. And that's probably because they haven't posted. Let's see. Um... Mm-hmm. Alright, oh, okay.
Okay, I'll look on Spotify. Is there their website doesn't have anything on it? Uh, let's see. Down the down the hill. That is that's a different podcast, but I will get to that. Down the rabbit hole. Is this it? No. Did they stop posting? Uh, okay. That's a little concerning. I am. Um... Wait, let's see. Uh, let me scroll down until I see. The last episode posted was May 18th. Joan Renee Cook, I think that's is the episode. Um, let's see. Nobody, huh? This is concerning. I'm not seeing anything on here. The last, actually, the la <laughs> the last activity at all was actually. They retweeted my tweet where I said uh, just a few of my favorite podcasts and then I included them and they retweeted it and that's the last activity. Uh, oh wait, actually let me look at tweets and replies. I forgot that was a thing. Nope, same thing. October 3rd, I tweeted that and they retweeted it. Which doesn't mean they retweeted it then, it just that's when I... Um, there, actually, let's see. People responded, Paige responded and... HLN. Oh crap, I did. <laughs> I said I would cover a certain podcast after I covered the Sarah Turney's podcast. Um, and that was. Okay, um. Let's see. It's on this li I'm on the tweet where I say just a few of my favorite podcasts, and here it is Mile Higher Podcast. That's where I first heard of uh, Sarah Turney and her sister before she even started her own podcast. Um, there's actually... I might actually save this. I'm not going to talk too much in depth about my my own... My, 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 I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's actually the podcast that got me into podcasts to begin with years ago. And... That actually ties in. I said this is a two part episode. It actually ties into part two. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna mention it here to say it's one of my favorite podcasts. But that's all I'm gonna say for now. I'm gonna save the rest because. Yeah, it ties directly into part two. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Anyway, so. I talked about Down the Hill, the Delphi murders because. I, they don't exactly have a Twitter account for that. Um, instead, it was produced or released or whatever by HLN. And I, because I, the rest of these podcasts, I just, ha like, at this one, at that one, da 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 da. And at the bottom, I put at, at HLN TV did an amazing podcast called Down the Down Down the Hall, Down the Hill, the Delphi Murders that I love. And HLN actually responded and said thanks for the shout out. Then with they included a link to the podcast. But I didn't think about doing that. I started including that with I have um, a a list on my phone saved of wow. That's that makes three different. At the beginning of this podcast, I said I should have made a list. I have three lists: this one on Twitter that I'm using, the one on Stitcher that I use, and then this one I have saved as a note, which I copy. And when someone says I need podcast recommendations, I copy and paste that, and then I added the link they shared to that. And I said that, <sighs> yeah. So, <laughs> wow. I'm a doofus. All right, let's see. Let's look at the list. Exactly right. That 
Is that a... Oh, that's a podcast network. <laughs> okay, so you have podcasts, and then you have the, the hosts. And this one goes a step above that to the network. Uh, Karen Kilgariff and George Hardstark are the ones that created Exactly Right. And I know them through one of my favorite podcasts. So one, okay, so Mile Higher is the one that got me into podcasts, but I was only listening to Mile Higher. And then, and I was listening, I was actually, I was, they have a YouTube channel and I was watching it on that. I wasn't actually listening. I didn't, I didn't see the point in listening. I'm like, they have the video. Why not just watch the video? And then, so my favorite murder is the podcast that got me into listening to podcasts. It was a little over a year ago. And I actually... They started in 2016. And they have, like, hundreds of episodes. There's regular episodes and minisodes. And there's together, there's hundreds of episodes. And it took me from... I think it was, like, September when I found it until May of this year to catch up. And, yeah... Th- that was the only sh- I was thinking uh, this is the only show I'm going to listen to mm, whatever. whatever and when I finally caught up I'm like well crap what am I going to do now and that's when the doors open for me because <laughs> I was focused on this one podcast and then after that suddenly I'm listening to a bunch of podcasts and that's what led me to where I'm at now because of my favorite murder Oh, I should probably talk about the show itself. Uh, it, <laughs> it's a podcast. It's a true crime comedy podcast. And actually, this is what kind of opened my eyes to the whole uh, comedy, true crime comedy. Because when I first started listening to it, and I'm used to, you know, when, when it comes to true crime, people taking it very seriously, like, like Paige does. But here they were, you know, laughing and telling jokes and all that. And I'm like, wow, this is not good at all. But then, like, by, like, like a few episodes in, I'm laughing. I'm like, wow, this is, this is actually really good. And it kind of, like, broke that shell of, like, this is to be taken seriously. It's just not to be joked about. And, yeah, I have a dark sense of humor to begin with. So it's, it's surprising that it took me a while to get used to it. Because I have a dark sense of humor. And, yeah, like, now, I just... I don't even think about it. Like, oh yeah, of course there's true crime comedy. Now this isn't even the only one. There's actually a subgenre of true crime called true crime comedy, which before I found this, there was another um, podcast I heard about. I didn't listen to because I, I was like, nah. It was by the Onion. The Onion has a podcast called um, um, I think it's called a Fatal Murder or something like that. And I, I didn't listen to it, but like somebody was telling me about it, and they basically, it's a true crime podcast, but it's fake. They they make up stories, and they're like funny. Like I did, like I, I don't know. I never listened to it. I should, probably should. Uh, but it, like, yeah, but it's the Onion, so it's you know, it's that kind of comedy. So when I first heard up my favorite murder, I started listening to it because I thought it was that. I was like, oh okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this out. And, uh, I really, uh, the first episode, they talk about John Bonet, and I was like, hmm, this isn't fake at all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my favorite murder is, it was my favorite true crime podcast until I found Reverie. <laughs> so, very opposite shows, uh, cause Reverie is very serious and detailed, and, and my favorite murder is, yeah, like very funny, and they they don't focus on the the true crime so much anymore. Like they, I mean, they do. Obviously, it's they still a true crime podcast, but now like they'll spend half the episodes like telling talking about their week and what they're listening to, what they're watching, and how they're doing. Uh, and they talk about like like me- like mental health and the therapy is very a big thing on the show, which is it's great. It's, it's great that that people are actually not like they're taking that seriously too like that is an important thing and it used to be 
like a taboo thing like oh you go to see therapy what's wrong with you and but now like they're normalizing it which is great and well it's one thing i like about this show is uh is actually the fact that they do that with they like it's be like a, like an hour and a half long episode and the first half is them just talking about what they're going through and halfway through the episode anyway let's get into the true crime so like because they do that it's kind of like character development i guess like if this was like a fictional thing it's like oh character development we know who these two are uh <laughs> and so like because of that like they have like a huge uh fan base and they have like artwork and they, people give them gifts and they know like karen likes this and georgia likes that and because we know who these people are because they're open like that and it's great i love it but then like um another true uh, of the first <laughs> wow that's actually kind of funny that that was I... the first <laughs> Um, after I finished My Favorite Murder, the first podcast I went to after that, when I was like, I was like, oh no, I'm going to find something else. I found Creme Junkie. And I was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to check this one out. And at first I didn't like it because I thought it was a ripoff of My Favorite Murder because it felt this, it kind of felt the same. It's, uh, it, um, Ashley and Brittany, Brit. I don't know. I don't. I haven't heard it in a while. I don't. Are they still? I don't know if they've posted it in a while. Now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, like, a, a kind of the format felt the same, and they had kind of like the same. Can't get enough true crime. Uh, let's see episodes. If they've posted it in a while. Okay, episodes. It's loading. Kind of. It says it's loading, but I'm not entirely convinced that it is. I think it is lying. Any up there is. Um, missing. When was this one posted? Four days ago. Okay, so maybe I. Wait, Lee. Achi, Uchi, I don't know. Um, yeah. I probably listened to it. I'm afraid to leave the recording app because, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought it was a ripoff of My Favorite Murder because, like, it had kind of like the same format and they had kind of the same, like, catchphrases and stuff. Like, on My Favorite Murder, they say, Stay sexy and don't get murdered. And on Crime Junkie, they say, oh, let's see, where is it? And it doesn't say it anymore. It said, like, stay safe, stay alive, or something like that. And I'm like, wow, that is a ripoff. And then the thing that solidified it for me that it was a ripoff was at the end of My Favorite Murder, the, uh, like, Elvis want a cookie? And then the cat meows. And then at the end of the Creme Junkie, she's like, um, like, I forgot the dog's name, but she said, like, how do you like that? And then, like, the dog barked or something like that. And I'm like, oh, that is definitely. But then, like, as time went on, I realized, and I listened to other true crime podcasts, I realized that's kind of standard, actually. Because, like, like I said, the only thing I had to go off of was my favorite murder. And so. And then the, the first one I listened to outside of that, it it was like, it's kind of the same. But then, like, they're all kind of similar. There's only so many things you can do on the podcast. It's not a ripoff. It doesn't, it's very different, actually. Now that I've listened, I've caught up on both. And on Crime Junkie, they're very serious. Sometimes, like, they'll start and just go right into the story. And then when the story's over, they'll end it. So, they, it's more serious. Uh, it's also, um, they deal with crime stoppers. And so the show is basically, uh, it's set in Indianapolis. And the show, as she said, she started it 
for like Crime Stoppers to help with that. I think she works for true for Crime Stoppers, and that's why she started the podcast. So it's more serious. So it's like the serious version of my favorite murder, but it's not a ripoff. Uh, <laughs> So, let's see, going back to the list. Matt Whitman. Oh, this one's probably the most different out of all of these. Uh, it's Matt Whitman is the host of a YouTube channel called the 10 Minute Bible Hour. It's, as you can tell by the name, it's a Christian YouTube channel. And I like, he also has, it's, he has a podcast called the 10, I think it's called the 10, 10 minute Bible hour daily podcast. That's because it's listed. I'm looking at the thing and <laughs> you know, I'm such an idiot. It took me a couple of years to actually notice the name was a joke because I, I was said it to a friend and, and she was like, that's the name. It's how, how is that 10 minutes? I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, the 10 minute Bible hour. And I like his way of, of, of like, because most people like, I don't know, I have a, wow, I was going to say a true crime ministry. I have a blog ministry and where I try to, I like digging deep into the Bible to learn, like, well, what is it actually saying? That sort of thing. And because a lot of people, they, they, like, even other Christians, they'll, take the Bible out of context, I'll twist it to mean it, to make it mean what they want it to mean, and I, I'm like, look at the full context, like, what is it actually saying, like, dig deep, look at the Greek and the Hebrew, what's well, actually being said there, and, you know, and then also looking at, like, biblical archaeology, like, this is the spot where this thing happened, that sort of thing, I love that stuff, he does that, and kind of like how I, I got it, I was confused about true crime comedy where they're making jokes while talking about true crime um matt whitman here on his show it was different because he's like throwing pop culture references and and all this stuff he's making it hilarious it's a, a hilarious christian-based show where he digs into the bible and i was surprised at first i'm like wow this this is not normal but i love it <laughs> And yeah, like I, um, the podcast, basically, I haven't, I haven't actually listened to that in a while. He, uh, he said he wants to go through, like, the Gospels and talk, and, like, what is actually happening here. And what I love, like, when I was listening to it, there was, like, 10 to 15 minute episodes. And, like, what he said before he even gets, to the scripture itself he wants to lay the groundwork like cultural context and historical context and like all that and 15 episodes in he still hasn't even touched the scripture because he's still laying the groundwork for everything and i'm and every time i finish an episode i'm thinking okay that's enough he should get into the scripture now but then like the next episode it's like here's another aspect i hadn't even thought about and i'm like wow, like, there's so much groundwork here to lay, and to the point where when he finally gets to the scripture, you know, like, everything that's going on. And that was very different. And it's to the point where this is the only Christian podcast that I not only follow, but is on this list. Oh, that's the end of the list. I know there's more than that. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Like, how is that the only... Okay, hang on. I will go back to that down the rabbit hole. Retweet. Okay. My Favorite Murder, Creme Junkie, Reverie, Unsolved Mysteries Rewind, True Creme Obsessed. Oh! Okay, I'll come back to that. Voices for Truth, Rabbit Hole, SKSC... Someone knows something. Ah. Uh, case file. Uh. Huh. Oh. Oh, okay. This is a little awkward. Okay, so. Someone knows something podcast. And. K. 
Case Filed True Crime Podcast. I put those on the list of favorite podcasts, but I've never listened to them. I added them because I like the sound of them. I was planning on getting to them. Because the... <laughs> uh, let's see. Especially the Case File ones. Facts is scarier than fiction. The official Twitter account for Case File... Um, yeah. So, <laughs> that's just a little awkward now. I don't listen to them, but I recommend them because I wouldn't have added them to my favorite podcast if I didn't find them interesting, even though I didn't listen to them. I, I don't see much on their thing right now. So, <laughs> it's a blind recommendation. Go watch them. I mean, go listen to them, and I will go do the same at some point. <laughs> okay, that actually that is that does cover all of them. That is that is weird. I thought there was more than that. Let's see. Uh, I don't even know what all I cover. Let's see the look at Stitcher. I'm looking at it on the computer instead of my phone because I don't want the recording to stop. Oh no, it's gonna take forever to load. Oh wait, there it's start starting to load. I see the word Stitcher. Get premium download app. I have premium. And logging in through Facebook. Facebook notification. That's oh right. Okay. Logging in through Facebook. Oh, while this is loading, and I said that, uh, I'm actually gonna read this. Um, I said that, um, Jules from Riddle Me That, she did a shout out recently. And if I find it, that's not it. Where is it? Uh, wait, it might be in my... Oh, it... Okay. Tweets and replies. Mm, let's roll down. She said something I hadn't even thought about. Okay, so here it is. She said, listening to The Digressor, episode 15, Conspiracies. If you like unstructured, fun approach to varying series topics, then check it out. Okay, and then I responded with, Thanks for the shout-out. I never thought of describing it like that, but that's the best way to describe it. The point of the show is that it is unstructured. I basically just start recording and whatever happens, happens. I just, I, ah, I just dropped the mic. Case in point. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't scripted. I couldn't have planned that if I wanted to. So, yeah, like... I don't really plan ahead, kind of, on here... Like, I plan ahead to, to an extent. Like, there's episodes I want to do. But like I said, with this one, I didn't know... Like, I wanted to do it. But I didn't want to because... Like, what if I said something and upset somebody? Because like I said, like, we're all... Like, this is a small enough community that we all talk on Twitter. So, like, everybody that I've mentioned on here, for the most part... We like I've communicated with them at some at, in some form or fashion, private message, or we tweeted at each other and like talked back and forth on there. So like, it's it's like a small community, and it's not like like usually like if you have a fan of like it's like if I was gonna list my favorite movies and like my favorite directors and actors and I like it's, it's like talk crap about some actor, it's not a big deal. I don't know if they're gonna, they're gonna listen. But this is different because I actually know these people <laughs> in, in a, to an extent. And like we like they like my posts, I like their posts, we comment each other's things and private message. So I didn't want to say something that was upsetting to somebody. But then I was like I was venting to a, a friend on Facebook earlier and I was like, I want to do this episode, but what if I upset them? And and she was like I don't remember what she said. She was I don't know. Um, something like just do it or I 
she was like, you're, you, you don't like, you don't deliberately do whatever, I don't remember, I'm not good at remembering stuff, if you can tell, oh, Stitcher posted, hold tight, we're moving on your stuff to a totally new experience, moving your favorite shows, saved episodes and downloads, success, get me started, I don't know what that was about, my account settings, blah, blah, blah. account settings, Log in via Facebook. Okay, um, right where? Oh, there's my shows. You have no shows. What? Yes, I do. You haven't liked any episodes yet. What? I, what? I, oh, okay, you just had to load. <laughs> Wait. This only has five, lo okay, get, it still has to load. It's still loading them. Family plot. And then down the hill, but I'm... Oh, okay, yes. You remember at the beginning I said, I'm afraid I'm going to forget something. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the list here. Here are my favorites. On Stitcher. I don't know if I added them to my, my Twitter list, which is very awkward. Because these are really important. Uh, really important shows. <laughs> Verbal Diorama. She is... Wait, actually, I think that is on the list. I'm pretty sure I put that on the list. But I remember specifically looking it up. I'm... Pr uh, there it is. I did. I skipped it. I... I... Why did I do that? Uh, okay, this one's also different from the others. Most of the others are true crime. And this one, she covers movies. And it's like a uh, podcast on the history and legacy of movies you know and movies you don't, hosted by M. And then I never noticed that her thing there. I am now following her on Twitter. <laughs> if she listens to this, the digressor just followed you, and I just recorded it. I mean, yeah, I recorded myself following your personal Twitter. Um, so yeah, she. Okay, sometimes. Of uh, the true crime gets a little too much, and it's like, well, this is kind of dark. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to true crime right now. I listen. <laughs> I listen to verbal diorama, and it's kind of like my escape from the. <laughs> it's like my the one show I have that's an escape from the dark podcast. She's the light side, and it's. I love her voice. She has the. Uh, she has the. Like a British accent, it says here from the United Kingdom. I I'm af I was afraid to say that because there was one time I was I said somebody had a British accent and they were like I'm from Australia and I was like oh right that is definitely an Australian accent. But, <laughs> yeah, um, so I love her voice. That's like obviously that's an important thing when you have a podcast. Just have a good voice. I I have a horrible voice. Um, <laughs> I have a face for radio, though. Ha! Ah. But, uh, yeah, her shows are... Her very first episode... I was... I was hooked from the first episode. Because... Her first episode, she talked about Titan AE. Which shocked me. Because I didn't think anybody had ever heard of that show. It's... I actually went and saw that. At, uh, and it came out in 2000. I saw it at the theater. Let's see. Oldest, newest. There we go. I saw it in, at the drive in theater. With, it was. Uh, I don't know if every drive in theater. I've only been to one drive in where I'm from, had a drive in theater, and they did a double, sh uh, double sh um, show. You can watch two for the price of one. And in 2000, I went. I was a little kid. I was. 11 or 12 I was born in 88 so in 2000 I was either 11 or 12 anyway I'm not good at mathing uh, so we went and saw Titan AE and X-Men and after that I never heard anybody ever mention Titan AE and then sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll reference it periodically like very rarely I'll reference it and everyone's like huh and I'll say Titan AE and they're like What's that? Is that a video game? Like, no, that no, never mind. So her first episode. Oh, I didn't even realize this. It was two years ago. It, has, it says it there two years ago. See, right there. 
see that you can't see. And, um, yeah, first episode, Titan E, Captain Marvel, Dread, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow, which is another movie no one's ever heard of that I love. So, like, her shows, um, I, it doesn't show how far I've gone. It doesn't show which ones I listen to. I know I listen up to Sky Captain. I don't think I've heard Pleasantville. Um, but yeah, like, I love her show. Like, it's... It's great because I am. I love movies. I, everyone calls me the the history the the movie buff because they say I, I like I've listened to every movie. I, I mean, I wow, that I've watched every movie, which is not true because there's some movies that are legendary and I've never seen. Like I didn't see Dirty Harry until like a month ago, and and there was actually I was it was actually kind of embarrassing what I hadn't seen. So actually, if uh, a couple of years ago, like 2016, 2017, I actually sat down and I actually just watched. I just, it was my day off and I just watched a string of movies I'd never seen. And those were included The Big Lebowski, American Psycho, uh, Fight Club, uh, and there's a few others I had never seen. And I see them referenced everywhere. And everyone just assumed I'd seen them because they're such classics. And I and I was like, I've never seen them. So I actually I watched them all and I uh, watched a lot of these movies and and so like going through her list of movies that she's covered, like she's covered movies that I haven't seen other people talk about. And it's it's great. I love it. The Iron Giant, that one actually no one had ever heard of the Iron Giant until a few years ago. I've never heard anyone talk about it. And all of a sudden, a few years ago, everyone's like, oh, you remember this classic? And I'm like, what, what? <laughs> I got it on VHS the year it came out. Mystery Men? Ah! That's another one that no one's ever heard of that I loved. I'm always quoting that movie. <laughs> I believe in my powers? Well, like, uh, repeat after me. I believe in my powers. I believe in my powers. I believe in the powers of my teammates. I believe in the... <laughs> it's a hilarious movie. I always there's a it's Ben Stiller and one of my favorite I think my favorite movie quote of all time it was actually in my senior yearbook. We can put quotes under our pictures and my quote was Ben Stiller from Mystery Men saying, "I will keep dreaming, my friend, and when I wake up, you better hope you're asleep." Sweet dreams, lilac. That's literally under my. Um, senior picture in my senior yearbook. But uh, there's another quote I actually say it all the time. It's, um, I don't need a compass to tell me which way the wind shines. <laughs> uh, it's a great movie. Um, and here's another one, Stardust. I love that one. Uh, I've only seen it twice, though. And I never heard anyone. I'm scrolling down her movies. And a lot of these I've seen, including Treasure Planet, which I heard that that one's getting a live-action remake which i i don't know if i want but i know that i don't not want it if that makes sense if they make it i'll watch it but i'm not gonna like like beg them to it's like it's not one that we need but i'll take it if you give it to me <laughs> all right that was verbal diorama <coughs> oh, yeah uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it's, uh, what was the other one that I... What's this? Nopeville. That one is also another one. And it's embarrassing that I didn't include them because I was actually just talking with them the other day. Uh, not talking with them, but um, tw I tweeted at them the other day. And... I hope they're on here, and if so, how did I miss them? Let's see, scrolling, scrolling, uh, Nopeville is not on here. How did I, how did I miss them? Okay, edit list, edit list, there we go, um, burp, burp, burp. manage members, suggested, a few bad apples. Ah, oh, okay. So, <laughs> a few bad apples. It's one that I, um, 
I see a few bad apples everywhere. Like everyone tags that podcast and everyone mentions that podcast. I've never I've never listened to it. Um but I Oh, I'm following it. And oh, and they're following me. Oh, I I should probably listen to that. Let me go add it to my Oh, I am following them on Stitch. How have I never... <sighs> That's what I'm saying. There's too many shows. That I There's no way that I can... Actually, let me see. Let me go to Sti the Stitcher app and manually look them up. Because that is awkward that I haven't even listened to them. A few bad apples. There. And... I am following them. Wait. Uh, huh? I I've I've apparently listened to some other episodes. That is very awkward. <laughs> like this podcast that I've never heard of before. I actually have been listening to them. I <laughs> Oh no. That that is so awkward. <laughs> That's uh, just because to show what I was saying. There's, uh, there's, I should have, I did make a list three times, and they, uh, there's too many podcasts to keep track of at all times. Like, if I actually had sat down to plan this episode, this mistake probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> because I can't remember every podcast all at once. And, yeah, that, um, that, make that another thing, another pod, everyone go listen to A Few Bad Apples. <laughs> um, wow, um, not only are we following each other, wait, no, not only have I listened to their episodes and I'm following them, they're following me. Um, so, you know, not awkward at all. Alright, so, that was on the suggestions, let's see, Twistin, bam, bam. Some of these podcasts that I'm scrolling down on the suggestions, I have heard of. There's a lot of these when you look. Mm, I'm not good at spoken. Okay, I'm just gonna type it. Nope. There it is. We follow each other. Added. And then oh oh yeah, Lil Nas X. Uh, his name on Twitter is Nope, and that was right below that. So Nopeville was right above Lil Nas X. I was not expecting that. Let's see. Are, had, are they officially added? Oh, they are. Okay. Nopeville. Uh, I like I like this show. I love the premise. They have, I. I'm gonna call it a gimmick, but I don't mean that in a bad way. Cause I know some some people say gimmick. That's it's, it's like oh they have a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. Don't listen to it. But their thing is, is it's Nopeville in the show is, it's kind of like, like an attraction and they're your tour guides and <laughs> they'll talk, they talk about kind of like the paranormal and actually hang on, welcome to Nopeville, a city filled with all the horrors that make you say nope, a, a, par a hashtag paranormal true crime supernatural podcast, whatever you you get uh wherever you get your podcast and yeah like they talk about like the wendigo they did like a two-part episode on the wendigo and uh like stuff like that and i think they did one on slenderman i don't i don't remember uh i will look on their thing okay stitcher um the most recent episode from five days ago is the Amityville Horror Tour. And why don't I remember any of these? Oh! <laughs> well, that's because I haven't made it that far. I haven't completely caught up. They've only got... They've got 28 episodes. Well, it says 22 here. 21, 20... Oh! Okay, because they have... Like mini sodes, they call campfire stories. Oh, yeah, the campfire stories. That's where people can submit their own stories for them to read. 
and it can be fictional or true. Uh, and it's really interesting. I like those. It's, it's a really interesting. And the reason I said it's awkward, I haven't didn't include them, is because, um, let's see, we were, I tweeted at them the other day, and they responded, and we were like talking for a minute. Let's see. Let's go back to that. Wait, where is it? I'll find it eventually. I know it's here somewhere. Philip DeFranco. Oh, there it is. I tweeted at Philip DeFranco. Um, I'm listening to Noteville, and they mentioned that the legend of the black-eyed children began in Abilene, Texas, which is literally where I was born and spent the first 26 years of my life. And they responded with a gif of a scared cat and said, Wow, did you ever see them? And I said, I don't think I did, but I also have a lot of bad memories of Texas, which is why I moved to Ohio six years ago. Of course, after I moved here, I learned that a surprising number of serial killers were from, were from here. They, they said, yikes, sorry to hear that. And yeah, it's an odd coincidence. Yeah, I, um, what I meant by a lot of bad memories is there's a lot of, like I said in my, my, my ghost stories episode, there's a lot, I did that's all I remembered. What I what I shared in the post is what I remembered, but there's also a lot. I I can tell there's stuff I don't remember, and like, the more I thought about it, there was after the episode, after I did the episode, there was more that I remembered, like not enough to do like an update episode. There were like little details, like oh I could have mentioned that, but yeah, like there's there's more. Like when you think about it more, it adds you remember more. So, I could have seen the black-eyed child. I just don't remember. And then, like, one day I'll remember and be like, oh, yeah, I did. But then, hang on. Um, somebody else. Uh, uh, one crime at a time. Tweet, uh, they responded, just curious, what color are your eyes? And, and I responded, I uh, declined to answer. <laughs> so, um and it's uh, like one crime at a time. I don't know if that's when I found them. I, I remember liking their page and then they liked me back. Um, that one I haven't gotten to yet. But like I, I followed them on Stitcher after that. And I will get to that. <laughs> um, one show at a time? I don't know. I binge an entire show. And then I move on to the next show. So like if... I'm not completely caught up on... So, sometimes. Sometimes. I don't say that all the time. I don't mean all the time. Usually, when I find a new show and I really like it, I'll binge the entire thing. I then keep up week by week. Like on the, my favorites playlist... My, well, playlist... My the favorites tab on Stitcher, I have... Like, I... Every day, whenever I'm, I'm trying to figure out what podcast I listen to, I'll open each one. I was like, I know... That, like, they have their set days, but sometimes they might do, like, a, a midweek episode or something. So I'll check every single of the favorites. And, uh, yeah. I I don't know if that was a, I don't know if that was a digression or not. I just feel like I got, I felt like I was making a point, but then I didn't make it. And then I ended it like, hey, I just made my point. I didn't make a point. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's look at the other. Let's see. Anything else here that I'm? Oh. Hmm. NPR through line. This one is also different from the others. Uh, I th think I. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's on here. It is. Through line is on the favorites list. I somehow missed that too. Um, every headline has a history. Join us every Thursday as we go back in time to present the present, uh, to understand the present, to present the present. Um, basically, they talk about something in the past that's relevant to something happening today, and they, like, delve into it, and it's really interesting, and I like it. Like, they did an episode on, uh... Oh, I got distracted. Uh... Like uh, the Chayavera, I think that's how you pronounce it. Che, Che, not Michael Che. Um, 
that the guy that's on like the revolutionary guy that's on the the shirt they told his story and like tied it into today and like they did it, like all these other episodes and like riots and stuff uh oh no oh <laughs> i thought the recording app stopped recording i was like no not again um Oh, and then there's History Channel. The History Channel did a pod, they do a podcast called History This Week, and it's very interesting. I really like it. Did I not end it? Does, I don't, oh yeah, okay, I do remember I looked that one up on here to add it to the favorites, but they don't have a pod, they don't have a Twitter account for it. They have, they have an account for History Channel, obviously, but I don't want to add that. I also didn't add HLN. To the list. Basically, the episode is they take today's date and they tell a story from history that happened on today's date. And I don't know if it's weekly or like if it's weekly or daily. Uh, history this week. It's probably weekly. Um, I don't see that it doesn't have, wow, there's 50 episodes, cool. The Muppet Revelation, Revolution, 11 days ago, November 10th, 1969, it's a Monday, across the U.S., parents and babysitters and grandparents and aunts and uncles are turning on the TV, because there's a new, sh uh, there's a new show out today for kids, Sesame Street. The show has now been on the air for more than 50 years, it's been viewed more than, and then it dots off, because that's as far as that goes. Yeah, uh, it's a very, very good show, uh, especially if you're into history. And I'm now I'm very carefully going down the list because I'm afraid I'll forget somebody else. Oh, True Crime Obsessed. Uh, that is, I'm not done with, I'm not caught up with that. Basically, they, it's a very unique take because you know, there's a lot of true crime documentaries and shows and all sorts of stuff. What they do is they don't talk about the case so much as they talk about the documentary. They talk about the documentary, not the case itself, which it's that's a that's a unique approach, and it's it's a really good one. Well, some of them I've never I've never watched, but it has. This, that one, The True Crime Obsessed, it actually has led me to some documentaries I otherwise wouldn't have seen or heard of. Um, there was one I watched recently. Uh, oh, I don't remember what it was called. Um, so what, like, with the tiles, they find the tiles everywhere. And, uh, they made a documentary on it. And I, and I watched it. I don't remember. They were covering the documentary about it and yeah that was really good and i'm scrolling through and i don't see any more that i missed um well i mean there there are two here that i haven't mentioned but um there's the cracked podcast which i didn't mention because it's no longer a thing they uh i i used to read cracked all the time like i found it in like 2000 11 and I read it every day I would have like 10 tabs open with just cracked articles and like links that they directed to and stuff and I was like obsessed with cracked the website and and they have a podcast I listen to that sometimes and some of the shows they had were, were great I loved them um, but they um, a couple years ago the like the the people at I I don't remember the exact I don't know exactly what happened I just know what people on Twitter said and on Reddit and you know how trustworthy that can be uh, <laughs> uh like the people like the company that owned Cracked I think okay this is what I think happened based on what I read I haven't like researched because by that by the time this happened I had stopped reading Cracked as much I would like hop on the app sometimes. If I was bored, so like I wasn't really paying attention to crack at this point, but like the people that owned the website and like the company that owns them and all that parent company fired everybody and got new people in. And yeah, if you go on there now, it's not the same. Like it's 
it's not close it's not even remotely the same site as it used to be and because they fired everyone there's no podcast they fired the guy that did the podcast so there's no podcast it just kind of ends so i don't listen to that anymore because i've listened to them all and then the other one here that i have that i didn't mention it's called how did this get made i actually i don't listen to it now but you know how I said the podcast that got me into podcasts was Mile Higher and then Rever and um not Reverie. Um My Favorite Murder got me into listening to them. That's true. But they're the ones that got me into it now. The first podcast I ever actually listened to was like ten years ago. It's called How Did This Get Made? And uh I think it was ten years ago. I might be exaggerating, I don't know. Um, let's see. Their most recent episode was posted two hours ago when they, they reviewed the movie Cats. Basically where they review bad movies. And, oh yeah, the first episode, it's a mini-sode one, ten years ago. And then there's f- full archive, bleh, Stitcher, premium, ten years ago. Burlesque is the first full-length episode. Ten years ago. Mini, mini so two, ten years ago, Season of the Witch, so on, Old Dogs, Last Airbender, Drive Angry. Yeah, so like, I listened to this up until, I don't remember, uh, I listened to it until about 2013 or 14. But like, oh wow, 529 episodes. So, like, if you want to get into a, a show and like, not be done for a long time, it's probably this one. Or My Favorite Murder, which has... I don't know. Let's see. How many episodes do they have? That's up. I, um, let's see. Scroll up. Scroll up. There it is. My Favorite Murder has 462 episodes. And they've been around... Five years. So they've been around half as long and have almost as many episodes. So... <laughs> they really crank them up. Oh, it uh, probably helps if they do two a week. Because they do a regular episode and a mini-sode every week so that probably helps <laughs> but i th- think i'll oh, add for like the reason i stopped listening like, i wasn't it wasn't like oh here's a show i have to listen to all the time i kind of like i binge up to a certain point and i would occasionally go and listen to it it wasn't like i have to listen to okay there was how did this get made in the crack podcast i would listen to them but not because they're podcasts, because, like, I listened to the Crack podcast because it was cracked. It was another another way to, to to get involved with that. And then how did this get made? I don't know how I found that. I think I found it through Cracked. And, yeah, like, I just thought it was funny. Like, the shows, like, the episodes, and, like, they were making fun of the movies. So I just, like, it, w- it wasn't like, oh, here's a new podcast I'm going to listen to because it's a podcast that was... Here's this funny audio show. I'm going to listen to it. So, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. I didn't get into podcasts until a couple years ago. And then I didn't didn't get really into them until this past summer. So, yeah. So, um, based on my Stitcher list, that's all of my favorites. And then some that I mentioned that I, I want you to follow anyway. Even though I don't listen to them. I don't know, but that should be enough for now. Uh, I will do a part two here in the next, I want to say next couple days, but (laughs) it'll probably be in the next week or so, and at least in the next month, because, yeah, um, I work almost every day. Oh, I'm actually about to be transferred on Monday. I knew I was going to be transferred soon. Uh, but I found out, well, yesterday now, because it's after midnight. It's exactly 2 a.m., wow. I found out yesterday that I will be starting the new location on Monday. And that was a lot sooner than I thought, because they were telling me I was going to stay at this location until the end of November. And then yesterday they called and were like, oh yeah, you're going to start at this new location on Monday. Bye. <laughs> Which sucks for me because I walk. I don't drive. I walk. And my, the current location is literally three minutes away. 
I can, I, if I stand on, there's obviously I can't see where I work because there's a buildings in the way, but there's a spot, uh, there's a corner. If I look one way, I can see the house. And then if I look the other way, I can see, you know, 90 degree other way. I can see where I work. So that's how close I live to where I work. I can walk there in like three minutes. This other location is 35 minute walk. So yeah. So I'm going to be really busy. That's why it's so, it's so long between episodes now is I don't have a whole lot of time that, and I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla between those two, the work and Assassin's Creed. I don't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> And what's funny is I tell people, between work and the podcast, I don't have any time. So <laughs> now I'm telling the podcast, between uh, I can't do this because of Assassin's Creed. Blame Ubisoft. It's their fault for making such a great game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this show here. I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to have to edit the first part that got cut off into this. So it's going to be a while before I upload. But, um... Probably a couple hours. I don't know. Every episode is a challenge because I have to, something happen. Like, every episode is very different because of the way I upload it. Because I, I am winging it. I don't know what I'm doing every episode. I have a new method or something happens. Like, this... If it hadn't have cut off and this was all one one take... I could just upload it right now. But no, I have to splice it together. So that's extra steps. And I don't know if the file format it saves that will go on podcastics. Because that happens. It says it has to be an MP3 file. And I save it as an MP3 file. Nope, it has to be an MP3 file. It is an MP3 file. Nope, it has to be an MP3 file. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we can take it now. Like, I didn't do anything different. So, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, stress-free. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this here.